a few salesmen are employed to sell a product called Trixec among households in various housing complexes. On each day, a salesman is assigned to visit one housing complex. Once a salesman enters the housing complex, he can meet any number of households in the time available. Okay. Once he's in, he can what he can go to any number. However, if a household makes a complaint against a salesman, then he must leave the housing complex immediately. So you can do any number till your first complaint. And some of our companies run like this. They run scams till they get caught. Uh, a household may buy any number of tri-check items or may not buy any item. The salesman needs to record the total number of tri-check items sold as well as the number of households met in each day. How many do you manage to sell? How many people do you manage to visit? The success rate of a salesman for a day is defined as the ratio of the number of items sold to the number of households met on that day. So, how many am I able to sell in the given given day? The whole setup looks like some kind of scam-like thing. Mm, some details about the performance of three salesmen. Tori, Hokli and Lahur. And so, nice. So, I think it's a play on um, Indian cricket team players. Nice. On two particular days are given below. Right? Over the two days, all three of them met the same number of households and each of them sold a total of 100 items. Nice. The total number of households, total number of items is same. Right? Items sold is 100, 100, 100, each of them. Number of households is XXX. Right? On both days, Lahore met the same number of households and sold the same number of items. So he sells 50 on each day, half and half he meets. Hokli could not sell any item, any item on the second day because the first household he met on that day complained against him. So second day he meets only one household and uh, he is not able to sell anything. Tori met 50 more households on the second day than on the first day. Tori's success rate was twice as much. We will get there. We will get to all of these when we get to them. Let us start off by putting some basic numbers. Uh, all three of them had the same number of households. So total number of households is x, x, x. They each sold 100, 100, 100, 100. Let's fill in some basic information, then we'll jump on into more. On both days, Lahore met the same number of households and sold the same number of items. So it should be x by 2, x by 2, half and half. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call this as x, call this as x, call this as 2x, call this as 2x, call this as 2x. I don't want to deal with an x by 2. Why would I want to do a fraction write up? I'm just starting off with the variables x, x, 2x, 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 2x. Sold the same number of items on each day, 50 and 50. Right. Hokley could not sell any item on the second day because the first household complied. So this is only one. So this is 2x minus 1. Nice. So the entire 100 items he sold is on day 1. Day 2 he sells 0. And 100 on day 1, day 2 is 0. Tori met 30 more households on the second day than on the first day. The total is 2x. They met equally determine x and x. 30 more are on the second day is 30 more than the first. You can say this is x plus 15. This is x minus 15. Remember x and x if they are equal. 15 more and 15 less from x. This one being 30. Take 15 and put it into this. This one will become 30. So x minus 15 and x plus 15. Nice. Tori's success rate was twice that of Lahur's on the first day and was 75% of that of Lahur's on the second day. Right? Success rate is number of items sold by number of items, number of households met. So Lahur's success rate on both days is 50 by X. Nice. Tori's success rate was twice that of Lahur on the first day and was 75% of Lahur on the second day. So this is Y. This is 100 minus y. So, Tori success rate on day 1 is y by x minus 15. This is equal to 50 by x into 2. Twice that of what? On, on Lahore on the first day. It was 75% of Lahore on the second day. 100 minus y by x plus 15 is 50 by x into 3 by 4. It looks like there are two variables and two equations. We should be able to figure out something from this. I don't like the fact that there is an x, y here, but hey, we can we can figure it out. We can still solve it. And so uh, there is an x into y. I generally don't like it when x into y happens, but perhaps we'll still be able to solve this. And so how do we do this? x into y is 100 into x minus 
फिफ्टीन दिस साइड वॉट वी हैव हंड्रेड माइनस वाई इंटू फोर एक्स वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी इंटू एक्स प्लस We have x y in terms of x. There is an x y term here. Maybe we can get that in terms of x, and then we can simplify. So we can simplify this. We say 400 x minus 4 x y. X y is 100 times x minus 15. 4 into 100 into x minus 15 equals 150 into x plus 15. 400 x minus 400 x. Both of these go away. Plus 400 into 15 equals 150 into x plus 15. And zero goes away. 15 goes away. X plus 15 is 40. So x plus 15 is equal to 40. This means x is 25. Brilliant. We just found those two equations. Solve them. Manipulate a little bit with the x y. I don't like it when x into y comes, but it's all right because the x into y that we get here is in terms of x, and the x into y that we get there we can plonk it in terms of x. There's no other y in the system. It all goes away. We get x is 25. It's nice. Which will be 50, 50, 50, 25, 25. 25. Fill pretty much everything in. Fine. So to fill this in, x is 25. So 25, 25. 2x minus 1, 1. X minus 15, 10. X plus 15, 40. The whole thing works. The uh, uh, Lahore's success rate is 50 by 25, which is 50 by 25, just two. Lahore's success rate. Rohit's Tory success rate on day one is twice of this. So y by 10 should be twice of two. Or y by 10 should be 4, or y is 40. Y by 10 should be 2 times of 2. 100 minus y by 40 should be 3 by 4 times of 2. Both should give the same equation. We get y is 40. This is 40. This is 60. 40 by 10 is 4. 60 by 40 is 3 by 2, 1 and a half, which is 3 fourths of 2. It all adds up. It all ties up rather beautifully. So y is 40, 100 minus y is 60. We've got the whole grid. What they have done? We just need to jump into the questions and solve them. What are the total number of households met by Tory, Coakley, and Lahore on the first day? Total number of households: 49, 59, 74. All three put together. Nice and simple. Oops. 49, 59, 84. I joke. Fifty plus twenty-five is seventy-five. These two add up to seventy-four plus ten, eighty-four. Sorry about that. It should be eighty-four. Luckily, I was not writing this exam. Right. How many trichek items were sold by Tory on the first day? Tory on the first day. Tory first day. Forty and true. How many households did Lahore meet on the second day? Lahore on second day, twenty-five households. Twenty uh, or less? No. Twenty-one and twenty-five. Yes. Thirty and thirty-five. No. More than thirty-five. No. Between twenty-one and twenty-nine. Done. How many households did Tory meet on the first day? Tory on the first day. Is ten. Ten or less works. Not more than forty. Not this. Not this. Ten or less. That's our answer. Lovely. Rather easy set. Once we get the basic algebra done. Among which of the following statements is false? Among the three, Tory had the highest success rate on the first day. Tory success rate is 40 by 10, which is 4. 100 by 29, 49 is 2 point something. 50 by 25 is 2. So the first one is true. We want to know how many. Which one is false? Tory had a su higher success rate on the first day compared to the second day. 100 by 49, 0 by 1. This is again is true. Second day he had no success rate, zero. He doesn't sell anything. Among the three, Lahore had the lowest success rate on the first day. Lahore had two, four, two point something. Yeah, this is also true. Among the three, Tory had the highest success rate on the second day. Second day, Tory had a success rate of one point five, sixty by forty. 
whereas Lahore had to 75% of this we already know it from the data so this is false or our answer choice is D, D for delta. Brilliant.